Hi everyone, so today I've decided that I'm going to start filming my book chase tour. So I did a book chase tour last year, but since then I've gained quite a lot more books and a second bookcase, so I've decided that an updated bookcase tour is definitely needed. So to start with, I'm going to show you guys an overview of my bookcases. This is just a brief overview of my shelves. On top of my first bookcase, I keep most of my Harry Potter books, the collector's books, the paperbacks of the kids' editions, and the adult hardbacks. And then we have the rest of my red YA books, which are all arranged in alphabetical order. And this is my second bookcase. The first three shelves have my TBR books. Uh, these are all arranged in alphabetical order as well. And the last three shelves are filled with um, adult books and as you can see they're double stacked and there are a lot of them. Also up above my wardrobe I keep my hardbacks of my Harry Potter books because they look really pretty and I like having them up there. So this is the first shelf on my red bookcase. It's double stacked as well so I'm going to remove the front stack so you can see what's behind. Okay, so the first book we have is Tiger Lily by Jodie Lynn Anderson and then we have the Starcross trilogy by Josephine Angelini which is Starcross, Dreamless and Goddess and then we have The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Caroline Mackler White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout Books 2 and 3 in the Darkest Powers trilogy by Kelly Armstrong which are The Awakening and The Reckoning Shadow and Bone and Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black Books 1, 3 and 4 in the Knots and Crosses series by Mallory Blackman, which are Knots and Crosses, Checkmate and Double Cross. The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas by John Boyne. Unremembered by Jessica Brody. And in this back row we have books 1 to 10 in the Morganville Vampire series by Rachel Kane. And then in the front row we have books 11 to 15 in the Morganville Vampire series by Rachel Kane. So I have the full Morganville Vampire series. The Goddess Test by Amy Carter. I'd Tell You I Love You But Then I'd Have To Kill You by Ali Carter, The Selection by Kira Cass, and The Testing and Independent Study by Joelle Charbonneau. And now on to the second shelf. So first of all we have books 1 to 5 in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare which are City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels and City of Lost Souls. And then I have books 2 and 3 in the Infernal Devices series, also by Cassandra Clare, which are Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. And then I have the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins, which is the Hunger Games, Catching Fire and Mockingjay. And then I have Tempest and Vortex by Julie Cross. The Maze Runner trilogy by James Dashner, which is the Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials and The Death Cure. This Lullaby, The Truth About Forever and The Moon and More, all by Sarah Dessen. Hush Hush, Crescendo, Silence and Finale, all by Becca Fitzpatrick, My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick, and the first book in the Castle Chronicles series with the movie cover by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And then in the front stack I have the full Castle Chronicles series by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll with their normal covers. So those books are Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, Beautiful Chaos and Beautiful Redemption. And then I have Gone and Hunger by Michael Grant. Now on to the third shelf. So we have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, Unearthly and Hallowed by Cynthia Hands, My Love Lies Bleeding, Blood Feud and Out for Blood, which are the first three books in the Drake Chronicle series by Alexandra Harvey, Hex Hall and Raising Demons by Rachel Hawkins, Crow Beauty by Rosamund Hodge, which has one of the most beautiful covers I've ever seen, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and The Evolution of Mara Dyer, both by Michelle Hodkin. And then I have the full Gatekeeper series by Anthony Horowitz, which is Raven's Gate, Evil Star, Night Rise, Necropolis and Oblivion. And then I have Splintered and Unhinged by A.G. Howard. Of Beast and Beauty by Stacey J. Uninvited by Sophie Jordan, which is such an amazing dystopian. The first three books in the Iron Face series by Julie Kagawa, which are The Iron King, The Iron Daughter and The Iron Queen. And then the first two books in the Blood of Eden series, also by Julie Kagawa, which are The Immortal Rose and The Eternity Cure. And then we have the first book in Lauren Kate's Fallen series. And then we have books two and three in Lauren Kate's Fallen series, Torment and Passion. And then we have Teardrop, also by Lauren Kate. These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, which has probably the most beautiful cover I've ever seen and it's such an amazing book. 
Alienated by Melissa Landers, which is a hilarious alien book, Mystic City by Theo Lawrence, Mothership by Martin Leach and Isla Neal, and I Am Number Four in the Power of Six, both by Pitticus Lore. And now on to the fourth shelf. So we have Ten by Gretchen McNeil, Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Mass, Shatter Me, Unravel Me and Ignite Me, all by Zahira Maffey. The Shatter Me series has very recently became one of my favourites and I absolutely love it. Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson, which has such a cute cover. Books 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6 in the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead, which are Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise and Last Sacrifice. Let the Sky Fall by Shannon Messenger. And then I have two copies of Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Thank you to Brittany from This Is The Story Of My Reading Life for getting me a signed copy. And I also have Scarlet and Cress by Marissa Meyer and those are the first three books in the Lunar Chronicles series. And then I have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, The Short Second Life of Bree Tanner and Breaking Dawn which is the full Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. And then I have The Host by Stephanie Meyer, If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch, Evermore, Blue Moon and Shadowlands by Alison Noel, Unraveling by Elizabeth Norris and the full Delirium trilogy by Lauren Oliver which is Delirium, Pandemonium and Requiem. And now on to shelf 5. So we have Acid by Emma Pass, Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce, Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door both by Stephanie Perkins, Die For Me, Until I Die and If I Should Die by Amy Plum, The Northern Lights, The Subtle Knife and The Amber Spyglass all by Philip Pullman, The Silver Linings Playbook and Forgive Me Leonard Peacock both by Matthew Quick, The Full Georgia Nixon series by Louise Renison and the first two books in her Tallulah Casey series as well. And then we have Across the Universe by Beth Brevis, The Art of Wishing by Lindsay Rabar, Black City by Elizabeth Richards, and books 1 to 4 in the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. And then at the front of that sack we have the fifth book in the Percy Jackson series, and books 2, 3 and 4 in the Heroes of Olympus series, also by Rick Riordan. And then lastly I have How I Live Now by Meg Rosoff. And finally the sixth shelf. So we have Under the Never Sky and Through the Evernight, both by Veronica Rossi, Divergent, Insurgent and Allegiant, all by Veronica Roth, Eleanor and Park and Vangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Altered and Erased by Jennifer Rush, Glow by Amy Kathleen Ryan, This Song Will Save Your Life by Leela Sales, The Archive by Victoria Schwab, Model Misfit by Holly Smale, I also have Geek Girl but my sister's borrowing that just now, the Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight and This Is What Happy Looks Like both by Jennifer E. Smith, Shiver and the Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Atter, Icons by Margaret Stoll, Some Quiet Place by Kelsey Sutton, Slated by Terry Terry, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve to Colk which has such a beautiful cover, I absolutely love this one. Books 1, 2 and 5 in the Soul Screamer series by Rachel Vincent which are My Soul to Take, My Soul to Save and If I Die, Partials by Dan Wells, and Pivot Point and Split Second by Casey West which are both amazing books and I absolutely love Casey West. And then we have Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, Sister Assassin and Paranormalcy by Kirsten White, The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, What's Left of Me by Kat Zhang and lastly Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin. So thank you guys so much for watching the first part of my bookcase tour, the second part will be my TBR shelves and then part three will be my adult books. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first part and I'll see you guys soon with part two. Bye everyone!